hey guys hope everyone is doing great we are already in november can't believe it's already like second last month of the year uh anyways so in this video we will talk about the transit of mars on various houses uh, let's start with the first house so mars transit over the ascendant or the first house uh, gives more zeal um, it also brings about a short temper when sun is present in ascendant uh, in your natal horoscope uh, transit of Mars over it increases heat of the body. When Saturn is in the ascendant or in the first house, uh, this transit gives illness. If you have Jupiter, um, it gives good health. And if Moon is present, it might result into quarrel. If your natal ascendant is Capricorn or Aries. Transit of Mars on this ascendant will make you stay away from home. If your ascendant is Scorpio, the health will be good. And if the first house is Cancer, which is where Mars is debilitated, uh, the transit of Mars then may give you disease. Moving on to the second house, the transit of Mars in the second house will increase expenditure. As Saturn is present here, death and losses of money are indicated. I mean depth, like incurring more depth. A second house has Aries, Scorpio or Capricorn. Then in that scenario, the transit of Mars will increase your income. You know, like Scorpio and Aries are Mars's own sign, and Capricorn is where Mars is exalted. Uh, talking about third house, so transit of Mars in this house is bad for staying staying away from home. If you have Sagittarius in this house as a sign in this house. It might give you trouble in journey or accident. If the third house has a sign of either Aries, Cancer, Libra or Capricorn, this might give you a transfer in job. You might go for a new job or, you know, as a part of the same company, you might be relocated. So you might get transferred from that job. So. As Scorpio is a sign, then some favorable incidents are possible. So if you have Virgo as ascendant and Scorpio is the uh, sign over here, so there might be like a lot of favorable incidents you can expect during this time period. Moving on to the fourth house. If Mars is transiting over this house, it might result in eventually like you might uh, not feel peaceful at home you might not feel bliss if you have already saturn rahu or mars present here in your natal horoscope um, you might remain worried about home for one reason or the other so if the profession if you are a farmer and if you have taurus cancer aquarius or libra in the fourth house this transit might not be good for agriculture, might be loss of money during this time period. On the other hand, if you have Aries, Capricorn or Scorpio as a sign in this house, uh, this will not give bad results. In fact, it might end up giving good results like buying a new property. So that's about fourth house, moving on to the fifth house. The transit of Mars over here might end up uh, like you might have a rise in the expenditure, health of your kids might suffer. If in the natal horoscope you already have either a Saturn, Rahu or Mars, then this transit might uh, give you worry about your kids. If the signs over here are Gemini, Cancer, Libra or Aquarius 
and if you are a trader i mean like if you deal in stocks uh, you might end up losing money in gambling or uh, losing money in the stocks and this specially holds more true when satin is present in either of gemini cancer libra or aquarius usually uh, i've seen like transit of mars on the fifth house makes you more sensuous it increases sensuality moving on to the sixth house transit of mars in this house is unfortunate uh, in all the signs the fatigue increases health suffers and servants don't remain faithful if saturn is present in the natal horoscope in the sixth house your health might suffer uh, during this time so uh, transit of mars in this house usually can also give loss due to thieves or maybe fire as well going on to the 7th house transit of mars in this house harms partnership business and uh, you know like even if you are working in the job you might have arguments with your colleagues sometimes it also does involve legal matters enemies cause hardships partners start quarrel if venus is present over here this person might resort to immoral deeds you know like the deeds which are not great and uh, dealing more with the opposite sexes so these things are quite possible if venus is present if saturn is placed over here in the natal horoscope uh, it might cause ill health of the spouse during this time going on to the 8th house transit of mars on the over 8th house usually uh, is not seen to be that important however if the person is already suffering from a disease chances are this transit might not get him cured so he might have to wait before mars uh, moves to the 9th house going on to the 9th house transit of mars over here it increases enterprise uh, if you have aries cancer or capricorn um this usually results in stay away from home so if you are in the software industry it might give you chances of an on site as saturn is placed over here you might suffer a bad reputation you might get criticized in the society in the job in the workplace as scorpio is the sign of the ninth house mars over here is transit will give you improvement in industry and in your businesses moving on to the 10th house if you have favorable sign present in the 10th uh mars transit over here will give you improvement in your job in your business in trade and uh, basically your business will flourish in job you might get a promotion again it all depends if favorable sign is present and all the tasks that you that you take are basically getting completed so i mean like this is the best time uh, when mars is in the 10th however on the contrary if then adverse sign is there in the 10th house and if you have saturn or rahu place in this house in the natal horoscope Mars over here then might create problems in your employment. It might create problems in the business, and all the jobs or tasks that you undertake may not get completed. In fact, it depends on the sign. If as uh, I mean, like if you have Saturn or Rahu, and it's not a good sign, uh, chances of financial losses uh, cannot be neglected as well. Moving on to the eleventh house, so. Mars over here if it's a favorable sign uh, for sure you might get some increase in the income it can be the stocks gambling however if mars is a sign of an enemy sign or is transiting over either of saturn or rahu it can cause difficulties with friends with relatives and you might in fact end up losing money in stocks and gambling 
expenditure will increase. Going on to the 12th house. So when Mars transits over this house, secret enemies are generated. Or a secret enemies, they'll be good in front of you behind the scenes. They will do backbiting, they'll try to do backstabbing. So this time they'll for sure increase all your secret enemies. And if Mars over here is transiting over Saturn or Mercury or on you know like Cancer, Taurus, Libra or Sagittarius, this time or this transit turns out to be quite unfortunate. Um, there are chances of dealing with the government, not good interactions with the government. And if it is, I mean, like, depends on the planetary positions, depends on the sign. So, you know, like, uh, there might be, like, um, accident tickets might be given. Or in some, fault, in some false cases, there might be litigations against you. Um, cannot neglect the chances of jail as well. So, that's basically uh, all about the transit of Mars in different houses. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and share it with the other friends as well. If you think like they might benefit due to that, like learning more about Vedic Astrology. Uh, that's all for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Uh, you have great rest of the day and weekend. Talk to you next week and some other subject on Vedic Astrology.